are too far gone, yeah. yeah. Hello everyone, this is Pixie and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to text track inside of Vegas Pro. Now as always leave a like before watching and let's begin with the tutorial. So before we actually start the tutorial I wanna go over the fixes and make sure to do this before you start. So head on over to your Vegas Pro and then click on this cog wheel. So go to your project settings and then make sure your frame rate is set to 60 over here. Then if you go to ruler, make sure these are your settings. So ruler, time, format, time and frames and then uh, copy these settings. And once you've done that, then you can save it and that is it. And one more thing is that uh, where it says width and height, this will have to match your, your render settings. Because if this does not match your render settings, then the text will actually be like not in the right place and you'll mess up. So make sure your render and project settings are matching together and then that's it then you can save your settings click ok and the final thing you want to do is go to options quantize to frames so make sure this is checked and also go down to preferences and then click on video and over here where it says gpu acceleration turn this off and this will not affect your vegas performance so just turn it off and then click apply Click OK and then make sure to restart Vegas Pro. Make sure every setting is how I mentioned and then you can begin with the tutorial. So if you go down in the description and unlock the link, this is what you will see. So this is the Google Drive, this is the font I'm gonna use for the text. You can use any font you want but this is what I'm gonna use. And then the plugins, uh, I'm only gonna be using Sapphire so if you don't have Sapphire, uh, jump on discord then we have the presets so this is the preset that like you know the text is gonna pop up so make sure to install those presets and then we have the project file and clip as you can see there are all of these files and if you just want the clip here's the clip but what what this thing does is opens you like the project file so what i mean is over here so here i have this folder inside of here and what you want to do is download those files insert them to a folder and if you open this project file with all the files in the same folder what you will see is this so this is like an example of how i did you know the tutorial so you know if you watch the tutorial and you know you're confused then you can check out the project file and here you can see what did i do so, but now let's move on to the tutorial Boom. here i am in vegas pro and now you want to pick you know the words you want to use for your text so here i have uh, matched the song with the beat or whatever and the words i'm gonna be using is too far and that's like before the kill beat so this is how it sounds as you can see he says i'm too far gone so i'm gonna be using two words too far and then on gone over here i'm not gonna be using anything so well, you want to mark the words that uh, that the guy is saying. So when when he's saying it, the first you know like sound he's making about the word. So two, let's find two. Here he says two, and then far. We have to find far. Far. Okay, far is here. It's okay, somewhere around here. So this is where he says two, and this is where he says far. So too far gone okay well what we're gonna do is make two new video checks since it's two words it's gonna be two video checks so insert two new video checks over here and this is where we can apply our text so go to media generator and then find titles and text then go up and drag the default one over here and here we have our text it should look something like this and then we can rename it so on the first line he says two so i'm gonna do this and then you want to highlight the text and then you want to change the font so the font i'm going to be using is casino flat uh, i linked the font in the google drive so you know get this font if you want it but you can use any font you want so two and i want it to go from left to right so the first word, word i'm gonna put it over here maybe make it smaller a bit and yeah i want the word to be over here and that is it and then you can apply the preset so there is actually a few presets uh, the main ones we're gonna use is uh, text popping out 30 and text popping out 50 and then there's like pop-up so i want to explain these presets before we actually start so look if i apply this one we we'll just apply the preset to the text this is what will happen so it will pop in just like that and then it will pop out and as you can see it is 30 frames long so you want to go to the final keyframe and then shorten it if this is the preset you want just like that make sure it's perfect so this is 30 frames long of a text looks like this 
and you can also apply the one that's 50 so this will be longer and then others other ones are like pop-up so let's apply the normal pop-up a and what this will do is pop up and that it's uh, that is it so yeah all, all it's gonna do is pop up and then there's also pop up pop up b so this is like it's gonna pop out so let's go to the end over here and then let's go 13 frames back and let's apply pop up b and yeah this will just do that so it's gonna you know go in and then another one is slide down b so let's apply it so let's go 20 frames before the end and let's apply uh the preset and this will just slide down just like that so so you can really you know experiment with the presets we you know the main ones you can use is the pop in and pop out because those ones are the easiest to use so what i'm gonna be using is pop in pop out 30 so i'm gonna make sure the text is 30 frames long i'm gonna go to the start double click here backspace plus 30 and make sure this is 30 frames long then i'm gonna apply the pop in pop out preset and after that what you want to do is fade it in by three frames and fade it out so just like that now make sure to go somewhere in the middle and see if you like how it looks so yeah my mine is good and if you're wondering why it's going from that side well it's because we have some um effects on so the effect that is on is warp transform if we disable it it will fix it and to fix it so that it goes from the middle you can go to blur my curves and once you go to blur my curves make sure on the text and what you will see is this plus in the middle now if you don't see this plus in the middle you can go to center and if you actually move this it will change direction so i'm gonna go in the middle over here and i'm gonna move the plus so i'm gonna move it in the middle and as you can see now it will start from the middle and if i move the this plus to the side it will start from the side as you can see so keep that in mind make sure the plus is where you want it to go so i'm gonna point it in the middle and that's yeah as you can see it goes from the middle but what i like to do is i like to also use warp transform and you know what this does is make basically warps the text makes it look a little bit cooler so i'm gonna put put the blur more curves plus to somewhere around here and this will come come from like the middle and i think it looks pretty cool you know how it goes from the middle so we have the first uh word done and what i want you to do is go on the marker you made so this is where he says the word two and then i want you to go 10 frames back so go on the marker go 10 frames back minus 10 and move the text just like this so when when he says the word the text will be like on screen everything will be fine so as you can see two and then we got the other word which is far so what you can do is copy this text text so hold ctrl and c and then ctrl v to copy it up and make sure this says create a new copy of the source media and then click ok and here we have the copy of the text so uh, i'm gonna go and change it and i'm gonna change it to far just like that then i'm gonna position it so you know i'm, I'm gonna go to the middle because in the middle you can see how it looks like and then i'm gonna go to pan and or this and then i'm gonna move it to over here let's see how that looks yeah that looks fine and we're gonna do the same thing as we do the first text so go when he starts saying far or whatever word he's saying it's over here for me and then go 10 frames backwards so let's go 10 frames back and let's move it just like this uh, what you can do now is apply some effects on the kill if you want and what i'm gonna be applying is a twixter impact and here we have our twixter impact so you can use any effect you want but you know make sure to apply those effects uh, before you actually render it so this is how it looks like and if you're satisfied with how it looks like we can move on to the next step and which is rendering so we're, we're gonna have to render this part out so what i want you to do is go to the start so where the first text starts and go 10 frames back so i'm gonna, gonna go 10 frames back once you go 10 frames back place a marker and as you can see over here i use twixter so I'm just gonna render the whole thing just like that and then you know just render it and now is where you need to make sure that your render and project resolution is matching so my width and height of project is this 
and it has to match your render settings or else the text will go somewhere else and it will not be accurate. But once you got it highlighted, you can go to file, you can go to render as and I'm gonna pick this one. So these are my settings and as you can see width and height is the same as my project. So you know, make sure it's the same and then you wanna click OK and I'm gonna name this whatever I want and I'm gonna click on render. And here we have the rendered file, so I'm gonna drag it in. And as we remembered, uh, we put a marker over here. So I'm gonna delete this and delete everything that's inside here. So let's replace it with the rendered file. And after that, what you wanna do is go to video effects and search for blur more curves over here and then drag the default onto your video. So what you wanna change is wrap X, click reflect and on Y, like reflect as well. Then on shutter duration over here, set it to 0.35, just like that. And now we can start uh, animating the screen. So you wanna go on the mark you made, so this is where the guy says the words over here. And then you wanna go 10 frames back. So let's go 10 frames back, just like that. And I would place a marker to remind myself that it's over here. So ev everything is good and you just wanna go on the marker, you know, 10 frames back before he actually starts talking. And then you want to animate Z distance and then you want to animate this center over here. So you want to drag those keyframes to where you are right now, which is over here for me. And yeah, this looks good. Then go on the marker and then just decrease Z distance. So this will zoom in, zoom in to like about like six, six, seven, something like that. And then you want to move the plus on the screen to the left or to the right, whatever the side you picked. So I'm going to move to the left. And if you don't see the plus, you can go over here and here you can, you know, move it to the left. So I'm gonna move it on the screen just like that and that looks good. And after that we can move to the second keyframe. So this is where, the, where he says the other word. So I can move it over to the right. Just like that. And you can also maybe, uh, you know, increase the distance. So let's increase it maybe a bit. Just like that and that's how it looks like so make sure uh, Z distance has a keyframe over here this is where it starts this is you know another keyframe and this is another keyframe and once you once you're done with your words we will, we will go back so go over here and then go 15 frames forward so let's go 15 frames forward and let's reset this back to one just like so so this is how it looks like goes from one, you know, this to the side, Z distance 656, six, six, and then over here it zooms in a bit more, it goes to the right, and then it goes back in. So once done all of that, it should look something like this. And as you can see, it's a bit linear, it's a bit like, you no know, too sudden, so we're gonna make the keyframe smooth. So what you wanna do is right click on here and make it smooth. Right click on this one as well, smooth, and this one smooth. And then do the same one with Z distance. So make it smooth. This one smooth. This one smooth. And this one smooth. So all of them right click and make it smooth. And you can test out uh, different patterns. So instead of smooth, you can actually try fast fade. So maybe on Z distance, we can try fast fade. So you know, now it's time for you to experiment what looks the best. So let's see how that looks like. So that was it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you need help, uh, leave a comment or join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. Uh, but anyways, this was Pixie. I'm out. <laughs>